Hey, y'all. All right. If you just saw my short, I'm on my way to visit my family on home time. Yes, this is technically my home. I live in it two months at a time. Then I go home for seven days. So, I thought I'd hit this video real quick before I take off because it is about time for me to leave Jubits and head for home. Huh, what have I been doing for the last month? Okay, this video is a very difficult one to make. And it's been a challenge. It's been very eye-opening, to say the least. Um, this is a shocking video. No, this isn't clickbait. This is real. This is real life. We are our own experiment. It's the old N equals one. We are our own scientist. We have to discover what works for us and what doesn't when it comes to food. And I'm going to kill this hair. Ugh. Weird. That's just weird. Huh. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later. Probably the sun coming through. I don't know. Anyway. Silence. A moment of silence. Before I reveal this shocking news. Sorry, it's a little chilly out here this morning. <laughs> Got the snivels. Anyway. I'm sure y'all have heard where the government-backed idea of eating certain foods is healthier for you and that eating red meat is at the bottom of the list as far as nutrition value goes. That couldn't be more wrong, by the way. Meat is the top for nutrition, nutrient-dense food that your body bio bio availability is the highest. So you're going to get the most nutrients into your system and keep them there, not shit them out as waste. So what did I do? Oh, Dave, oh, Dave, oh, Dave, you did it again. And this is going to be the last challenge like this that I ever commit my body to. Drum roll, here we go. And you're going to see the before and afters. I went adding what they recommend for you to eat and for you to feed your children. I ate Lucky Charms cereal. I had Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. And this was daily. With whole milk. I had some Lunchables, which they recommend your kids eat. And most schools actually now have those as options available for your children to consume. What else did I do? I'm trying to think. Oh, I ate the buns on kids' hamburgers. That's right. I ordered kids' hamburgers from Carl's Jr., Hardee's, Wendy's, you name it. Kids' hamburgers. What they want your kids to eat. These are the results of 30 days. Every day from... April 1st to May 1st. I gained weight like you would not believe. As you all know, I had been doing amazing on a carnivore diet, or mostly carnivore, but staying with a ketogenic way of eating, either carnivore, ketovore, or keto, for over a year and a half. Then I got this wild hair up my butt that said, well, Dave, 
You're still young enough. I turn 55 tomorrow, by the way. Let's try it. Let's try what the government recommends. Let's try what these researchers recommend. Okay. Challenge accepted. Challenge completed. I am now working on getting back down to what I was with my weight. Here we go. Here's the before. This was on April 1st when I started. There it is. Now we're going to pan over here. And we are going to show you May 1st. That's right. This is not photoshopped. This is me. This is real. And how am I going to show that? Because I always have so many people that say that I photoshop shit. I don't photoshop shit, okay? Here we go. I'm going to show you me right now as I'm heading for home time. And I am back on a carnivore diet, strict carnivore. And I will show you another challenge, which is the human body is capable of more healing than you could ever imagine if you feed it the right foods. Meat and eggs, that's your food. Eat the fat, that's your energy. All right, I'm going to stand up a little bit here and show you. This is real. No photoshopping. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. The definitions are gone. I got the fat back in 30 days. Thanks, Kellogg's. Thanks, General Mills. And yes, during this time, I have also eaten meat and eggs, because I'm not going to lose all my nutrition. I'm not that stupid. So as you can see, eating the government recommended way of eating, especially for your children. Now let me say this about children. When children eat these foods, some of them exercise just by playing daily. You know, that's what I did when I was a kid. We'd play all the time outside. We'd run around. We'd expend energy. And so it doesn't show up as fast in individuals that do that. Their metabolism is a lot better than mine at 55. So nowadays, in 2024, you have a lot of kids that are obese. And why is that? Yes, it is eating these foods, but a lot of these kids sit around playing video games, watching TV, not getting out and exercising, not playing with their friends, like we used to do when we were kids. And that fat will show up a lot faster in those kids, and they will become the pudgy kids. Sorry, reality. So here's the message and takeaway from all of this. Don't eat what the government recommends. Eat meat and eggs. It is the most nutrient food on the planet. I proved proved myself over the last year and a half plus of eating mostly carnivore. And for the first year, I pretty much was strict carnivore. You can heal your body. You can lose the fat. You can have more energy than you ever knew what to do with. Now, that's another thing about eating this way the government recommended way, you know, lucky charms and shit.
I found myself lacking in energy some days. Some days I didn't want to get up. This is all reality. And I really hope you take away from this to stay away from cereal. Stay away from grains. They're going to fatten your ass up. Okay? I am a carnivore. Meaning, I eat a mostly carnivore diet. I am meat-based. I eat meat. I eat eggs. And yes, for those wondering, seafood is considered meat. So don't freak out that you can't have seafood if you're carnivore. You can have all the seafood you, you want. Enjoy. Just don't eat all the shit that comes with it. When I go to a restaurant, I'll get the meat and eggs or the seafood, you know, meat. But all the sides, I won't do. Not if they're the wrong kind of sides. Now, I'll do some cottage cheese from time to time. Not a problem. Um, I'll do a carnivore salad, which is pretty much hard-boiled eggs, cut up, diced up, uh, some bacon. Uh, sometimes I'll put a little bit of onion in there, just depends. Uh, cottage cheese and just one teaspoon of your favorite salad dressing. Mix it all together, and you got a pretty tasty meal for your salad. That's it. That's what I eat. And I'm the healthiest, and I feel the best when I eat that way. So, it is time to take off. Head to see the family. I'll be off seven days. I will try and get a little bit of content out when I'm home. We'll see. I'm prioritizing my family over anything, as I should, because I've been gone for two months. But if I have a little extra time here and there, I'll put some content out for you. Let you know how things are going. And uh, tomorrow's my birthday. I'll be 55 years old, technically a senior citizen, according to standards. Meaning I can get a senior citizen discount in the restaurants. Don't think Dave won't be taking advantage of that discount. That's the good thing about turning 55. I'll take it. But even eating the way that I've done for the last 30 days, or for last month, I still feel better than I did in my 20s. I got some stuff to catch up on here, get back in shape, lose the fat again, which I know I can do because I know how to do it now. And I'm going to incorporate a little more exercise just to speed the process along. Mostly my werewolf sprints. If you haven't seen that, there are videos about that. I will be doing a werewolf sprint video coming up. You can look forward to that. Anyway, oh yeah, in the fat. Got some of this back now. This is all in 30 days, people. Stay away from grains. Stay away from grains. Stay away from grains. You've had your warning. This is your warning. Look at Dave. Don't be like Dave. At least for that last month. Hope you all enjoy. Glad I can entertain you. Educate you. If you have not already subscribed to this wonderful channel that is growing, thanks to all of you, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Share this video if you think it would be helpful for others. And comment. That's how the algorithms work on YouTube. And as you all know, that know me, my main goal for this channel is to help the health of my fellow brother and sister truckers out here. To get metabolically sound with their health. 
It can be done. I've done it. I'm going to do it again. I would not go... Someone had mentioned, oh, Dave, you should do that for half a year and then get back to it. Fuck no. 30 days was enough. Look at the damage it did to me. But thank God the human body heals when you give it the proper nutrition. It is the fastest healing machine on the planet. If you feed it the right fuel. If you give it the right nutrition. Take care, my friends. Oh, Meat Fuels Your Beast, one of my shirt designs. Carnivore, Ketovore, Keto, all-inclusive. If you want one of your very own, go to carnivorewerewolf.com. You'll see the button right there for my Amazon Carnivore t-shirts uh, shop. And my shirts are affordable for everybody. I take the minimum amount from Amazon as a profit, which is just, uh, I think I get four bucks a shirt. But my shirts are $18.99. Not $23, not $25, not $30, like you see elsewhere. $18.99. Because I want everyone to be able to afford them and get the message out. Start spreading the message. Meat fuels your beast, damn it. Understand that. We have that beast within us. Our carnal, carnivorous, natural way of eating beast that will give you more energy for your body than you've had in your entire life. Unleash that beast in you and eat the meat. Eat the meat. Peace out, my friends. I'm on my way to go visit my family. Love y'all. Eat the meat, not the grains. Okay?